The replication of DNA begins at a sequence of nucleotides called the origin of replication. Helicase unwinds the double-stranded DNA helix, and single-strand binding proteins react with the single-stranded regions of the DNA and stabilize it. DNA polymerase III is the major enzyme involved in DNA replication. DNA polymerase III can only add a nucleotide to the three-prime end of a pre-existing chain of nucleotides, and it cannot initiate a nucleotide chain. Therefore, an RNA polymerase, called a primase, constructs an RNA primer, a sequence of about 10 nucleotides, complementary to the parent DNA. DNA polymerase III can then add deoxyribonucleotides to synthesize the new complementary strand of DNA. Because the two parent strands of DNA are antiparallel, they are oriented in opposite directions and must therefore be elongated by different mechanisms. The leading strand elongates toward the replication fork by adding nucleotides continuously to its growing three prime end. In contrast, the lagging strand, which elongates away from the replication fork, is synthesized discontinuously as a series of short segments called Okazaki fragments. When the DNA polymerase III reaches the RNA primer on the lagging strand, it is replaced by DNA polymerase I, which removes the RNA and replaces it with DNA. DNA ligase then attaches and forms phosphodiester bonds. The DNA is further unwound, new primers are made, and DNA polymerase III jumps ahead to begin synthesizing another Okazaki fragment. For simplicity, DNA polymerase III has been depicted as separate units, one acting on the leading strand and the other acting on the lagging strand. The current view of DNA polymerase III is that the two subunits function together with the DNA on the lagging strand, folding to allow the dimeric DNA polymerase molecule to replicate both strands of the parental DNA duplex simultaneously. Proteins other than DNA polymerase 3 are not shown.